Hi, this is Eli. I'm from SafeNet, Sentinel as Technical Support. In this session, I would like to show you how to work with our Hasp Runtime API for the C Sharp. In order to do so, I will go to C program file SafeNet, Sentinel Hasp API Runtime.net, and I will take the DLL, which is a reference, uh, in order to work with our Runtime API. I will just copy it into my project and then add it into the reference. Okay, now uh, I will add its namespace, which is uh, Aladdin dot asp okay uh, next thing is that I would like to use uh, the code the source code uh, for the runtime API to log in uh, to feature the zero let's say so the easiest way to do it is to go to the toolbox and uh, choose in file settings toolbox uh, C sharp API right and then I will go to ASP login, make sure I'm working with my batch code currently, it's demo maybe because it's only for demonstration. Uh, and I will just simply copy the entire source code from, uh, from the toolbox and I will copy it into uh, my application over here. So let's save and run it to see whether it, it's working. So it seems to be working. Uh, let's go and see uh, with uh, over here before before the login what we what we have here. Control F10, and then I will proceed and we'll see the status. Oh, status I see here. Status is no API delib, which means it fails. Okay. So this uh, this is, a, as a matter of fact, the expected behavior. I have uh, done this uh, process in order to show it to you, this uh, no API delib. What I will have to do is as following. It's very simple. Uh, despite the fact that I use this ASP.NET Windows DLL, uh, this is only a reference, which is, as a matter of fact, a wrapper. It's not the API itself, it's just a wrapper, which calls the HASP API and the HASP API itself resides inside the runtime C. So I will go to runtime C, Win32, and I will take this DLL. This DLL is uh, the API itself, so I will copy it uh, into my directory over here. And now let's see if it's working. Let's proceed here, do again, and now, still no API delib. So the reason for it is uh, very simple. This DLL must, be, must reside where the executable resides. So here it is in debug. Now let's see if it's working. I will stop the debug and then we'll go again here and now status is status ok which is fine so this is the way how you use um, the runtime API for the .NET one, uh, one small note I would like to say is that this file which we took from the C API has Windows demo DLL as a matter of fact as I said this is uh, the API itself uh, but if you would use not the demo MA batch code but your own batch code then the name of this file would not be hasp windows underscore demo but hasp windows underscore and the number which represents your uh, vendor ID. Thank you for watching.